the smart is broken and I have no idea what's wrong with it. In most of my videos I'm fixing something, but unfortunately today that's not the case because I genuinely do not know what's wrong. Back in October I took this car for its MOT and I'm very pleased to say that it passed. I then drove it for a week in some very rainy conditions. The weather changed and it got really cold and one morning about 5am I went to leave for work, turned the key and I had the dreaded three lines. It did reset after playing about with it, keeping my foot on the brake pedal after switching the ignition on and I did manage to drive to work that day but it happened again the next day and no such luck, couldn't get it going that time. When this first happened I had the three lines and also the traction control light, the yellow hazard light uh, which was on steady, it wasn't flashing. I've had problems in the past with SAM units having poor solder joints which cause all manner of electrical problems and for a while now I'd wanted to bring a SAM unit dismantling video to the channel so I saw this as the perfect opportunity to do this and took the SAM out and as you saw in the video resoldered the joints and I thought that might be it um, and it seemed okay for a bit but sure enough uh, the same thing happened again so that wasn't the problem but not in vain because there were bad joints in there and sooner or later they were going to cause problems anyway the weather in the UK has been appalling lately, so much rain and flooding, and my work schedule has been pretty hectic. I work some really crazy hours and just un really unsociable hours as well in my day job, and I genuinely have not had time to properly investigate this. So when I saw a clutch actuator for just £215 on a Black Friday deal with Autodoc, I thought, well, let's just get it, because it's a Saks component, I'm not likely to see one of those at that price again. And it's always good to, to have a good one on there anyway, so I can make a video perhaps of dismantling the old one, um, regreasing it and so on. So not big money. I thought, let's get that. It might cure it. I've had some suspension issues with my Audi A3. Some quite bad suspension issues. Quite how this deteriorated to this in such a short space of time, I'll never know, because it didn't look like that a little while ago. I needed to make about a 40 mile round trip to go and get the parts for the Audi and I needed to get there. So I just quickly fitted the actuator on the Smart and thought, well, this is a good opportunity to give it a test. And this is why you didn't get a full video of me fitting the actuator. It had to be done quickly because I was going to run out of daylight. Things were going swimmingly and this little car was running really well and I thought, yes, I've nailed it. That is it. It was the actuator. And then disaster struck on a busy dual carriageway. The hazard symbol, traction control light came on, the automatic A symbol started flashing, shortly followed by the three lines and I had to pull over, right in an area where there were cones and traffic chaos. Drivers around me were completely unsympathetic, it showed the really bad side of human nature. It was obvious that this car was in distress and nobody gave a hoot. I got to the side of the road, it was stuck in second gear tried to crawl forward and it, it wouldn't go into first it's just stuck in second gear and in the end I thought I'll have to switch it off which I did and then we just had the three lines I managed to get it going again through the process of um, foot on brake ignition on and wait like a minute lots of clicking and clattering from the clutch actuator shifting gears uh, and eventually it, it kind of went back to normal but still the still the traction control light was on again steady light uh, and I carried on and about half a mile from home it happened again and I ended up stuck in second gear, roaring along a dual carriageway. Um, just an absolute nuisance. So that's where I am right now with it. So it's now time for me to drill down deeper. I will just put the fault codes on the screen now, just so you can see exactly what we had when we plugged it in. And as soon as I get the opportunity and I've got some days off and reasonable weather, I'm going to start stripping this down and, and digging deeper. I have already removed the engine to body earth strap here. I can't be sure how good the connection was between it and the engine. I'm going to be cleaning this up properly. Um, I have performed a resistance check between here and the body and it seems okay there but I'm going to be cleaning that up along with the bolt. We'll get that back in. I've even bought some earth straps from Halfords just in case. I might even just hook up a secondary one just as a backup and then I can recheck. I know the battery's okay, I do need to check the charge rate from the alternator but I don't suspect any problems there, but I don't want to rule anything out. 
I don't want to take anything for granted. I've already removed the air filter top cover. I need to remove uh, the air filter housing. I also want to remove uh, the intake pipes and the intercooler and fan uh, with the view of getting to the wiring loom that goes off and serves the actuator, clutch actuator, and also the gear motor that you can see right down there, the shifter motor, two motors. I'm wondering if we've got an issue, if it's stuck in second, I think from memory one motor does gears one, three and five and the other does the rest. It couldn't visit third and it couldn't visit first. That could be one motor that's out or a sensor within uh, that's out and the code does kind of look a bit like that. But I really need to check the wiring because uh, I want to make sure there are no breaks in that wiring loom uh, at any point between um, it and this motor and the clutch actuator under the car. And then if it comes to it, I can start checking out other things in terms of wiring, um, potentially drop the under tray and just check out the uh, traction control ABS control unit and just make sure that there's no damage there uh, or any problems with the, the connector. It's gonna take a while, I think, just to get to the bottom of this, but I just need to take the time to strip things out. As much as I, I want this car to be running, it doesn't need to be, because I have got the other car. So in summary, this car has turned into a little bit of a cow and I have lost faith in it at this time. It's a pretty awful fault to have because you never know when it's going to strike. And wh whereas it had previously only been when it was cold setting off, now we know it's taken on a new dimension as it happened while I was on the move. This car really is the content gift that keeps on giving. And whilst this is good for the channel, it is a bit frustrating because I just want it fixed. So I'll be making some more videos on this. I will keep you updated in terms of what I find uh, and I might even get some videos up of uh, dismantling various bits uh, so you can come along for the journey. I'll see you again in another video very soon. Meantime, thank you and goodbye.